Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Today I'm going to tie something a little bit different for you. I'm going to tie a spay fly. Um, seeing this in one of my magazines that I subscribe to, just thought it looked really cool and fairly easy to tie and something you guys might be able to do. So I figured I'd give it a give it a whirl and let you see how to do it. Uh, it's called the Super Zug. It's by Jeff Weimer. Um, just a neat looking fly and uh, looks pretty easy. It, it is actually easy. I've tied a few now. Um, I'm tying this on a size 8 spay hook using black thread. First thing I'm going to put on is a, a peacock sword. The same thing you use for the tail of a zug bug. I'm going to use that for the tail of this fly. Just going to take about oh, six or seven tail fibers or the fibers off the sword. There, and we're going to use that to make our tail. Lay it on top and wrap it down. So give it a nice blue, blue green, aqua green colored tail. Okay, we'll cover that all up good. Now the next thing I'm going to use is a piece of French oval tinsel. Uh, in gold. Gonna get a fairly long piece of this because you're tying a pretty big long streamer hook here. And we're gonna tie that in. Okay now uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap some peacock curl on here and uh, for sake of video time here I'm actually gonna I'm gonna get it started and then I'm gonna shut down and finish the rest of this out here I mean, it's no different than wrapping any other kind of peacock curl we're just gonna wrap it the same as we do on all our other flies cut the tip end, cut the butt ends off, we're gonna tie it in by the butt wrap it back here to our tail now we're going to wrap this around the thread to strengthen it and then we're going to start wrapping it up the body building up our body out of peacock curl okay I just fast forwarded here a little bit um, this is my actually my third set of peacock curl that I put on here. I'm putting three three hurl on at a time. Like I said, wrapping it around my string and wrapping it to the front. And then we're gonna tie this off up here. Leaving lots of room for my head. Okay, now we're gonna bring our gold French oval tinsel up. Put a nice rib on it. Space them out there a little bit. Nice and even. Okay, bring this up here to the front, tie it off. Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit, gonna get our head started here. Put a little bit of thread down on. Okay, now I'm gonna differ from um, Jim's pattern a little bit or Jeff I mean from Jeff Weimer's pattern a little bit I'm gonna tie I believe he uses the peacock sword again to put a collar down underneath here um, I have some peacock dyed blue dyed kingfisher blue or not peacock but guinea and uh, I've tried it on this I really like the looks of it how it stands out uh, but the difference the way I'm going to tie this different is I'm going to palmer it on, but I'm going to pull half of the half of the fibers off. So you're just going to have half of the fibers on the feather, and then we're going to pull the tips back so we can tie it down by the tip. We're going to tie it with the tip to the front. And 
tie it down here. I'm going to trim this off. Okay, now we're just going to palmer this on. We're going to keep our fibers facing backwards as we twist it. So it's their natural, so they naturally flow in that direction. Just going to twi keep twisting them to the front. And spreading them out so they'll wrap the whole way around. Get a nice even blue color the whole way around there. Um, the pat he didn't show the pattern. He didn't list the material, so I just kind of had to figure out what I had and compare what I had with what it looked like in his picture. And uh, this is the way I tied it the first before I realized that he was using. A peacock sword on the bottom and I kind of like the looks of it better okay now the next thing I'm gonna do and I'm not sure what he actually uses on his pattern but I'm gonna use a cocktaily on saddle feather in uh, speckled fluorescent green and I'm gonna tie that on I'm gonna do the same thing with it I peeled half of the half of the feather off and tie it in by the tip And then I'm just going to, oops, I have to retie that in. I cut it a little too close. Tie them back there. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to palmer this up here, keep separating them fibers out so it goes the whole way around it and keep them facing backwards this looks like it would be a, a great steelhead fly I haven't fished it it just looks fishy um, I like the looks of it and I thought I'd give uh, Jeff a little credit for tying this fly this is a great looking fly he created here And then we're just going to tie this off. Careful you don't trap your fibers down. Okay, then we're just going to dress it up a little bit here. Make sure it's sure all the feathers look good on it. Going to come in and whip finish it. And this is actually a pretty simple spay fly, uh, a nice looking, you know, salmon style fly. It's easy to tie, not a lot of the full dress kind of kind of fly you're used to in the, in the salmon style fly, but it makes a really pretty fly. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this fly, like the looks of it as much as I do. Um, give it a try. try, I would suggest trying it on your steelhead streams. Um, if you like it, we sell the material on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. Check us out there. And don't forget, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel on, on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Thanks again for watching.